Hey guys, welcome back to the Looming Station. Sorry about the weird lighting, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but we're back home, so um, hopefully this video will be better than the lightning strike video, which was terrible. I apologize uh, for that. Um, and today I'm here with my first uh, real Alpha Loom tutorial. Um, I mean, I know I did the how to attach charms to the Alpha Loom and Monster Tail, I think, two weeks ago. And, um, uh, tongue tied. Uh, that, but that didn't really count as an Alpha Loom tutorial. It's just a little thing that I found. Um, so today I came up with a way to make your designs wider. Like, so, most of the signs are seven rows, but I, I found a way to make them 14 rows long. Or you can make murals, like I'll be doing in this vid. Um, cause, I mean, 14 row designs there, I don't mean, you don't really need to do that. But murals, you can't really do on seven rows. So, I thought this was great. And the materials you will need will pretty much come all from your Alpha Loom box. So, let's get started. So, as you just said... Most of the materials you will need come from your Alpha Loom box. We'll be using the Alpha Loom, of course. Your Alpha Comb, obviously. Probably it sometimes we'll need to use this metal tipped hook they give you, which is very nice. And then, at least in my mural, I'll be using colors in this these alpha bands but that depends on what you're doing and then you also need some clear bands and again I'm sorry about this funky lighting I don't know why it's doing that but let's get started so the first thing you want to do is graph your design but when you graph your design you're going to want to do half on one seven rows and half on the other like I've done here I'm doing the American flag um, so, that's 14 rows. So, what you're going to do after that is take your loom, and you'll be looking at your des your graph design to see what you need to do. And you're going to look, we're going to go in these seven rows first. So I, we're going to, this is going to be the bottom and where that's going to be the top up here. Um, so I see my first row is all navy blue. So I'm going to make my first row all of that color or whatever your first row is. And I'm going to lay across my first row, twisting all of the bands from these pegs um, and excuse me while I try and fix this lighting I think I'm going to try and fix it because it's not very good so just let me lay these bands alright I've done so it seems this is just a focusing problem Let's see if I can focus it nope um, sorry, so sorry, but I guess it's going to stay like this. So you've laid your first row. So now let me look at my second row. I see I have to place. You're going to, before you do this, take one of your clear, stretch it all the way across these seven pigs. Okay, and then take one more clear and put it uh, loosely on that peg so there's a loose band on this peg or this one it doesn't really matter so now you're going to lay your next row and you don't have to twist this time so I'm just going to lay my next row so now what you're going to do is take this loose clear band and pull it over the row you just added here so it's kind of right here and you can just kind of hold it out there and then you can take your hook grab this long stretched clear band and 
pull it over to the middle and then you can loop over all the bottom bands using your comb. So you just take it and line it up and you can grab all the bands on the bottom pegs and lift them over. And then do the same thing on the other side. So now the first thing we did was put on this loose band. So now we're going to take a clear and do the stretch all the way down and then get our loose clear and after we push down just lay it on this peg and then we're going to pulling this out of the way this loose one here lay our next row and then we can um, find the band here, the loose band, <laughs> is tongue tied for a moment and pull it over and then we can take a hook and pull this clear over and then we can, using our comb, loop the bottom bands over like this and do the same on the other side. So basically, you're just going to make your alpha loom bracelet or mural, but with these um, loose clear bands on one side, whatever side you want, um, just having them out here, and then you can put, you put the bands over them, you can pull them out and put your next row over it so they stay, and you're going to make the entire all the way down these first seven and then I will see you in part two of this video so just keep on making this mural or bracelet the top seven rolls with these loose clear bands hopefully in part two of this video this fuzziness will be better I hope you could understand this tutorial with the fuzziness I'm very sorry about it don't know why I've tried to fix it and I'm not working. Um, but again, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to watch part two. It will be up in, well, whenever I'm done with this and it's done uploading. So probably about, it'll be up tomorrow. I don't know. But just make sure to catch it. And thank you for watching. Bye.